Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Supernatural Socks. Supernatural Socks is for two to four players, takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play. It's by Theris Games and it's for ages 14 and up. In Supernatural Socks, you're going to be trying to wash socks. But not only that, you need to wash pairs of socks to gain the most points. All while at the same time, your opponents are going to be trying to stop you from washing your socks in pairs because you're gonna be getting points that way. They're gonna break your dryer or remove socks or put them into the lost sock area. It is that supernatural aspect of the game that makes you feel like, wow, that's where my lost socks went. And now I know due to supernatural socks where I've been losing all my socks. However, there are also mismatched socks in the game which are gonna score you points as well. And you're gonna be able to play dirty socks and underwear on people to try and mess them up. Not only that though, but there's also ghost cards and these ghost cards can be beneficial as well as uh, oppositional to your opponent so you'll play them to make them lose socks or you can play them to stop opponents from making your socks get lost and whoever scores the most points from 50 to 100 points depending on what your term is, your, your goal is in the game is going to win the game anyway let me go ahead and show you what it looks like okay so here are the contents for supernatural socks and as you can see there is a sock deck and a ghost deck along with the lost pile of socks you're gonna take seven off the top of the deck and just put it here every player is gonna start with a washer and a dryer along with there's gonna be a first player marker for whoever goes first can be the person who last did laundry so we'll just say that he did laundry last there's a rule book the box additional player cards washers and dryers as well as pawns socks will be uh, I think a Kickstarter goal if you succeed you can use these instead of the first player marker along with a scoreboard and some pawns which everybody will start at one or even just maybe off the board I suppose in the game every player is going to get one ghost card here and then they're going to be getting six socks with a total of seven cards so they'll just start with that over there in their hand and then you're gonna make sure all the decks are shuffled as well as the ghost deck too and this is gonna have all the ghost cards included and all the socks cards included over here now to begin the game you're going to look at your hand of cards and there's a plethora of socks in them as well as that one ghost card and you're going to see that there's a point total the point total is gonna be based on singular sock a pair or even three socks mismatched socks can be a total of three whereas a dirty sock is one this one a dress sock is two and so on and so forth and based on what you're you're putting into your dryer and then you're going to be uh, taking out and folding and putting them into your drawer those are your scores right so if you score if you put two ankle socks in and they score you're gonna get 10 points and toe socks you're gonna get 12 and dirty socks you'll get one and bad things can happen there's a bunch of different effects on these cards as well to begin the game all players are going to look at their hand and choose three cards to put into their washing machine so we'll go ahead and look here how about two dress socks as well as maybe a, a toe sock. And then the other player will also do that as well. Maybe they wanna put in two kid socks along with a toe sock as well. And then the rest of the cards are gonna stay here. Every player is going to put down their three cards and then based on the first player it's going to go clockwise and they're going to reveal their socks. When they reveal their socks they simply flip them over from the washing machine and show what they are. And they're going to do uh, the abilities on the socks. Dress socks go straight to the dryer so they just simply move straight to the dryer here. Whereas the toe socks are extremely smelly and they have to get washed twice. So this can get turned over so it will signify that on the next round after it's been washed again that's when it goes to the dryer. The next player is going to get to go as well and show off their uh, different socks you got kids socks here a pair of them and you got a toe sock as well this one also gets turned to the side and these guys say when a pair goes to the dryer they'll get to uh, take an they'll get to draw an extra card this turn and then choose one of the socks in their hand to go into the lost sock pile some cards are going to let you draw from the lost sock pile here after everybody has done that revealing their cards then everybody's going to draw cards based on what they played if you played a pair in your three cards you're gonna get to draw one ghost card however if you played Played no pair you can draw two and so this one played a pair so he would get one and this one played a pair as well so he'd also only get one however if he only played a mismatched sock a toe sock and a kid sock he would get to draw two after that the first player will get to go and they can choose to play up to two ghost cards however you can only play one offensive and then one of any other and you don't have to play any if you don't want to we have wacky wilbur which blocks a lost sock or sends an opponent's sock to the lost sock pile and this take an opponent's sock or find two from the lost sock pile these are what these do here so if he wanted to he could play maybe uh carrying caitlin he can play this card here and then take two cards from the lost sock pile and add them to their hand or if they want they can uh 
take an opponent's sock. Whenever you use these cards, you're mainly going to be taking cards out of the opponent's washers and the drier cards that you cannot affect with these specific cards here. So if he wants to, maybe he'll just go ahead and play this one right here. We'll play Wacky Wilbur and it says opponent's sock to the lost sock pile. So he'll take maybe the kid's sock here and he'll put it into the lost sock pile. However, there are also cards that are defensive as well. So this can block a sock that would be sent to the lost sock pile. He could play that in response. And you can play any card, you can play cards on your turn or out of your turn and no matter what. If somebody tries to do something to you, you can stop them. It doesn't count towards your limit of two cards, one offensive and one of any other. So after this player is done playing their card, they can choose to play another, provided it's not an offensive card. If they don't want to, they pass and everybody else will get to play their ghost cards as well. After the ghost cards have been played, then you're going to move any socks from the washer that you can to the to to the dryer. Now, these ones were already there though because they're dress socks, but the kid socks would then move and perform the ability. This one says, that, like I said before, you can uh, draw an extra card here and then choose one of them and put it in the lost sock pile. So we'll put the kid sock in here, and you obviously shuffle too whenever you place them in there. And then these cards would stay there. Uh, any socks in the dryer already, basically well, his dress socks, would actually get moved out and put into the uh, scoring area. So here you would see that if there was one of them that had been from here to outside, it would go one. But because there's a pair, you get six points and you would instantly score points. And let's say that's a white player. He'd move up to six points there. Uh, this player, obviously the socks went from the here to here, so they're still gonna, not going to be scored yet. But when they do, it would score eight points if both of them made it through. Afterwards, everybody's going to draw three cards from the ghost deck and the play would continue in a clockwise order, moving the first player marker to the next player. And this can be played with up to four players. Uh, there's a ton of different ghost cards in the deck that do different things. There's a defensive day that stops people from messing with your socks. And then there's a terrible Tony. This one will destroy a person's dryer for a turn so that way these guys can't leave. And uh, Wacky Wilbur, which I already showed you. And I think those are the main different cards that can be put in the deck. Whenever any of these decks run out, you're going to reshuffle them and then you're going to be able to draw them once again. In the game, you're going to go up to either 50 to 100 points. You determine that number of points based on however long you want the game to last. And whoever gets to that point total first is going to be the winner of the game. Supernatural socks, provided everybody has gotten a turn. And that is the basic aspect of the game. There's a ton of different socks in the game that you'll go through. The toe socks need to be washed more than once. The dirty socks can be played in in an opponent's dryer, sending all the stuff from the dryer back to the washer, and it also counts as only one point, but they can also be used as a card that matches with the mismatch sock. You've got tidy whiteies, you can place in an opponent's washer, and then one of their socks will get lost. Uh, you've got ankle socks, and these guys are pretty cool. They can uh, send select one of the top cards from the lost stockpile, put it into your hand, and so on and so forth. And you're just trying to score points, moving them from the dryer out. And as you place them out, you're going to be scoring all these points to move down the line. And that's the basic idea of how you play the game Supernatural Socks. So now for my review, as well as a couple caveats. The first caveat is Terrible Tony. Whenever he breaks somebody's dryer, he's going to be able to obviously not allow that player to send any socks from the dryer into their drawer to score. And because of that, uh, it can benefit an opponent or it can hurt an opponent. Sometimes you don't want to play it on yourself and there's a bunch of reasons why. However, the last turn of the game after somebody's scoring those points, when their dryer breaks, they're still going to be able to score half points in their dryer and washer for all those things that are going to go through. Um, if they wouldn't have made it, they're still going to score at least half the points, which is kind of a nice idea. When we first originally played the game, we played it with these basic rules, um, and obviously the Kickstarter now has new rules to the game. And with that being said, uh, we didn't much care for the game based on the original rules of the game, because the last turn involved Terrible Tony always, no matter what was going to pop up, and we kind of knew what was going to happen and who was going to get messed over, and that obviously affected the game. And most of the time, it just affected the game in where somebody's either going to choose whether or not they're guaranteed to win and scoring screwing somebody else over or if they're losing no matter what they would just choose who won who won the game uh, but now with the point totals that's been improved from 50 to 100 points that changes the game as well as the socks being shuffled and we and, and we made into a new deck that makes that problem go away which is very very nice uh, the point totals which is also kind of an aspect of the game that gave it that additional thing that uh, push the game into more of a challenging aspect and I like that aspect of the game I also love the theme of the game and the art of the game the theme of the game is about lost socks and wondering where all those lost socks have been going from your washing machine through your dryer into your drawer I always seem to lose socks and I think a lot of people obviously lose socks as well which is kind of bringing up the theme of that game and now you know why spectral beings are 
causing a lot of mischief removing your socks. So that is a really cool theme with the game. I think that's what brings this game up to my uh, enjoyable list. I think that's really what gave it that um, that oomph to be like a game that was like, mm, to, yeah, I, I kind of like this game. I like the theme of it. And it kind of comes through when you're playing the game. The ghosts are cool. There's not a very large differentiation between the ghosts so maybe there'll be some kickstarter exclusives that will change that but there's about four or five of them and they can be used offensively and defensively in certain ways wacky wilbur has two as well as the uh, carrying caitlin has two abilities as well and you can choose to use those how you want also realize too sometimes cards uh, socks that go into your dryer you actually don't want them to go there yet because you don't have a pair you want to score things in pairs or even triples for those mismatched socks playing a dirty sock on somebody can push all their stuff back however that can also give them more points so you have to be very strategic in how you play this game not always is it really a take that in some aspects you're kind of taking that on yourself which is kind of a weird thing wanting to destroy your own dryer for a turn to protect the socks from exiting so that way the mismatched shocks will join that one mismatched sock and give you even more points but it does work thematically not so much but game wise it works and it's enjoyable in that aspect the game's unique and a little different it does feel originally like a take that game but as we played one of my uh one of my players my play testers was kind of like this is not really a take that and in some aspects i feel like it could do a little more take that and i think that's true but the game all in itself is fun and enjoyable and pulling those ghosts is cool sometimes you don't want to play a pair because you can get more ghost cards and mess over somebody who's really too far ahead or if you're already ahead you can move them back and lose those cards where it would have actually made them push forward and so it does have that aspect of play but no longer with that nastiness of at the last turn of the game playing something on a person's dryer and screwing them over because it had uh, there was one game we played originally with original rules where I never got to score any points because they kept socking me and socking me over and over again to the point where finally my dryer broke and I literally scored zero, which is not as enjoyable. But with the 50 point total to 100 point total, it changes all of that. So like I said, the quality, theme, all the different aspects of the cards, very fun. I'd like to add more ghost cards. I think that'd be really cool as uh, well as all the different changes they've added. Uh, lost socks instead of all one of each different type, it's the top seven now, which provides a little more variability. All of that's good stuff. A very solid game, a very enjoyable game. If you like card games that are just slightly take that with a little bit of strategy involved too, with how you place those pairs out, I think you're going to like Supernatural Socks. All right, guys, thanks for watching on the Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, go and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment as well as checking out our website unfilteredgamer.com tons of blog posts giveaways kickstarter lists and more don't forget to check out supernatural socks currently on kickstarter we got this game uh, as it was going on so we wanted to make sure we can get out show you guys what we thought about the game and yeah it's a cool little devious style game and we just kind of take that back and forth but the art's cool and the theme's really cool anyway you can go ahead and check out the rest of our uh, buddies there at everythingboardgames.com tons of giveaways and all that kind of stuff even more than my own site as well as the giveaway geek and our buddy ferdinand the cardboard stacker he's always got some great tutorials coming out all right guys well that's all i got for this one and i look forward to seeing you next time